What's up, everybody? It's the X Games. Yeah, bro. Freestyle. Word up. MLG, Chili Willy. MLG Pro for 360 No Scopes 420. Oh, man, it got a triple. <laughs> no, unreal. This is how you make a messed up Tony Hawk game. It's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 on the PS1. Yeah, I mean, come on. We are going old school here. Yeah, so we got our custom character. It's Tok. Yep. And uh, Tok lives in the Tok Tower. And he's pretty beast mode. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. As long as the disc is still good. <laughs> yeah. We, we ran a test of it, and it seemed like everything was running fine, so... Alright, so I wonder how many of these I'm going to get on the first run. I'm going to go with two. <laughs> uh, I'll give you three. You got to collect skate, unjam valves. <laughs> I know where the hidden tape is. I just couldn't get up there. <laughs> oh, well. So you added one new one. Two upgrades. <laughs> so since we can't actually have music on here because of copyright stuff, we'll uh, we'll let Josh be the music maker. Big <laughs> remix. That was a hoot, Spunky. Spunky! Is Rocco, darling. I wish we could play the music. Cause yeah. This one typically started off with a really awesome song. Could you get that little finger? Sticky, sticky. <laughs> You know, I thought I would have played a Need for Speed Hot Pursuit in PlayStation 2. Uh, oh! Oh! But I remember playing that and hearing that song, and I was like, oh, that's a pretty good song, not realizing that it's edited. I mean, like, seriously edited. Like, if you actually heard the real lyrics, you'd be like, oh, he's not talking about cars. <laughs> he's talking about, he's talking about thinking about cars. Yeah, this is one of those where you have to get a minimum score to make it to the next stage. I remember everybody was so fascinated with Quicksilver stuff or Fox or, you know, if you were into like the motorcycle and four wheeler racing, if you were Fox, if you wore shirts with Fox, if you were into skateboarding, roller skating, speed blading, all that fun stuff. Then you want Quicksilver. You know, surfing as well. 
Because it has it has the word Yeti on the side of it. Yeah, I got me a Yeti too. I was like, dude, I've got a Coleman that does the same <laughs> shit for thirty bucks. Big fucking whoop. No, oh, your your Coleman can't do this. Watch this. You're in a padlock there. It's locked now. Well, it can't float because you are because boat sinks. I'm not going to be leaning on a fucking pool if my boat sinks, to be honest with you, because it's going to be full of beer. Why the fuck would I need to lean on a pool full of beer? Yeah, um, we have these things called life, life jackets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why, why would I need a cooler that floats if I'm wearing a fucking life jacket? Obviously, you're not thinking of safety here. <laughs> well, uh, it's got the word Yeti on it. Watch this. Y E T I. Now my cooler has the word Yeti on it. And I can probably draw a Sasquatch on there for you, too. I, I just buy it for the name brand. Coleman. That's a name brand. It's the original name brand. <laughs> exactly. It's, Coleman's been around a lot longer than Yeti, and I can tell you why. <laughs> It's like going out and buying Oakley sunglasses. You know, I know you used to wear Oakley, Josh, but uh, here's the thing. If you're, if you're a fat ass like me, you tend to sit those down in the seat and then sit on them. I'm not spending $100 on a pair of sunglasses. I'm going to do that. The Oakleys, I'm going to write in paper. Yeah, that's right. They, they were a gift. Yeah. I am not going to go out and spend fucking $240 on some sunglasses just because they call them cost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing that gets me, dude. It's all about name brands. People are so superficial on that shit. It's not even funny. Dude, look at my new Costas. Yeah, it costs a lot of money for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> this video not sponsored by Costa, Oakley, or Yeti. <laughs> or Coleman. <laughs> or Coleman. <laughs> I'll just, go out, I'll just go out and buy some Banana Republic sunglasses. They're like, what, 10 bucks at Walmart? <laughs> some foo-foos. <laughs> and they're polarized, so yeah. screw you. Exactly. Like the Iron Man sunglasses. They sell for $12. You know, it's also sponsored by competition. <laughs> Good fucking look. I'll just go buy me a pair of reading glasses and put some black paint on them. There, I've got myself a nice pair of sunglasses that I still can't see shit out of. Yeah, it probably makes a big deal about you playing with a fucking cooler, you know? Like, for instance, I walked through a field and stream the other day, and right there in front of me is a $380 Yeti cooler. I'm like, great, $380 in my life I'll never get to think about again. Hi, bird monkey. I can spend that on top of the whole world. A actual video game system that'll actually give me entertainment. Rather than a cooler, I'm just going to leave in, in the back of a boat and hope to God it doesn't mildew or rot. I'm pretty sure I won this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did too. Oh, you're second place. Fuck you, Tony Hawk. He, he got you by one. Literally one point. Yeah. Yeah, we can get it, baby. I don't even know how long we've been recording. I don't either. All I know is we've talked about Coast of Del Mars, and <laughs> I've had you over there laughing about the fact that Yeti coolers are the dumbest idea out there. <laughs> well, they are. I fucking hate Yeti. <laughs> like I said, you want a cooler I'll, that lo but, but I want to clarify that we're talking about not liking Yeti coolers, not the Yeti t-shirt place. Yeah. Their shirts are cool. And they're cheap. And good quality. Yeah. Like, really good quality. Coolers on the other hand, that'd actually be good. I can, I can guarantee you, it's good quality. It actually work. Hell oh, yeah! You know, the only way I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars for a cooler right now is if it has a little mini fridge built into it, so I don't have to go buy ice. Just put it as a cooler if I gotta go out and buy ice. Oh yeah, that was another thing the person bought. Oh, it keeps your ice cold for like six hours. 
Hey, you know what that's funny thing? Dry ice. A styrofoam cooler if you buy dry ice. <laughs> Dude, at this point, why would I need ice for six fucking hours? I'm not gonna. I'm not planning on staying out on the river all fucking day. I'm white. Yeah, and I'm like paper white. If I go out in the sun, I don't stay paper white. I turn lobster fucking red. Guess what? Ding! I'm done. Yeah, and if you're talking about like needing ice to like go fishing or whatever. You're definitely not going to go with regular ice anyway. You're going to go get dry ice, yeah. which lasts for days. And too, if you're sticking your fish on ice, then you can ruin that meat. So, uh, well, I think it's bad. When I used to go to Florida, you, yeah. know, you, you got to do something to keep it fresh. Preserved. Yeah. Notice I didn't say fresh. I said preserved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because real skateboarding doesn't actually require you to move a fucking leg. Oh, there's a fucking pool over here. Oh, yeah. I wonder where I would have gotten on my phone. Oh, it's funny, Joe. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. oh shit. There oh, it is. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh. <laughs> got it. Suck it, blues. I'm like a Japanese midget over here trying to have an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> ice the ice cream man. I don't that know just what sound that like, means. <laughs> that just, you know what that sounds like? That sounds like someone from a ICP, you know, Ice the Ice Cream Man. Oh, maybe you gotta buy him a Yeti Cream. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, wait. I bet it has something to do with this crane back here. Probably. Well, that's not how you get on it, but... <laughs> yeah, it's probably not the way you get on it. Because you notice that table, you can slide right through it. Being the fat ass, the yeah, I totally just stumbled on that. But being the fat ass I am, I bet I gotta cut it by like jumping the jump. Pisses me off thinking about it. Like every year, you know, certain places I've been to offer them as gifts. Like, okay, yeah, I might take it as a gift, but it'd probably just do the same thing that all my other coolers have done in the past four years. Sit in my house <laughs> with tools in them because <laughs> I don't have a toolbox. <laughs> I put like all my giant wrenches in, in coolers because I don't have a rolling cool toolbox. Mm -hmm. My wife looks at me and goes, you know, we could use that for beer or did, drinks. Did I unlock a new level? I think you did. I'm going to upgrade some stats. I was about to say, or not. So we've been playing for almost an hour. And out of that hour, probably about 25 minutes of it's been me <laughs> ranting and raving about products, you know. God, I hope this doesn't get granted. <laughs> that was like the best rant I think I've ever done. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I'm styling and profiling! Woo! No, I didn't know I'm not going to do that. I need one more goal. Uh... <laughs> Gotta get a six score of seventy five thousand. I can do that. 
And I can probably get the fucking secret tape. Hmm, There's a secret deck in deck. here. You want to see my deck? Uh, <laughs> I think that might be the end. Yeah. The loading bar stuck. Oh. <laughs> well. Yeah. Fucking Yeti coolers. It's all their fault. We'll give it about ten more seconds, but I think it's done. Yeah. I think we fried it. We looked at we looked at the disc at the beginning. There was this huge giant gash in it, <laughs> kind of like Pamela Anderson. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <coughs> you know, yeah, it's fucked. Yep. So anyway, well, that was fun. Yeah, I'm Aaron. That's Josh. This has been a one shot. Yeah. Let's stop. <laughs>